All right, so this is the account he set up for us. We're going to change this email, but this is what we're using. We're going to do root user access. Um, I'll end up sending you, me, anyone that works on it. It's the IM user access. We'll go over that later, though. Uh, I think you saw some of that already. So we're going to go here, launch a virtual machine with EC2. Um, I'm going to go to the marketplace. Uh, generally, what I usually would do is if we were running it from the beginning, I would do the 18.04, the 21.04, 64-bit by 86. Um, server and that's how you can you can deploy wordpress you know the packages and and do the linux commands that way through that uh, but we're going to just do a much easier kind of cheaters way for wordpress because <clears throat> it's not a lot of applications we need to do to wordpress but with other applications it's not the best practice By Bitnami, they do uh, multiple open source hard, uh, software deployments. Uh, this is it right here. So these are the server types. You get the micro for free. I don't know how well it runs a WordPress. You need at least a small. Um, you can see the CPU cores, and then it's got four gigabytes of memory. Um, but we'll go through the configuration here. Most of this we don't need to usually do. I think with a website, this costs less than 20 bucks a month. So we'll find out for the first month um, until hopefully we get approved for the $1,000 credits to start for startups and stuff they do. Um, you know, I'm kind of new to some of this, so I don't know all of this. Um, none of these options are really. Uh, I need here at the ad storage, you see it comes with 10 gigabytes. Uh, right here, free tier algebra customers get up to 30 gigabytes. Um, it's a WordPress website, probably doesn't need much more than 10, but since we'll go up to 25, um, you know, when we start thinking about running pictures and databases and MySQLs that aren't run separately, that are still run, um, you know, if you're doing the MySQL database on this one of these servers, you'd obviously want to increase the storage size um, quite a bit or use their RDS, it's called regional database storage, but that's also relatively expensive if not a lot of use is being used. So tags, um, you can assign like name, email to the account. Um, we'll call this um, physics. Um, world WP WordPress. Uh, the security group, we want HTTP, HTTPS, and we want to be able to go from anywhere so people can log in. And then we want to be able to SSH into our own server. Um, if you have existing security groups, there's, you know, you can add, there's many different uh, protocols and stuff you can do there. So um, you can create security groups separately and then select one. Uh, we only have the default, so we'll just create this new one. Um, and there's the name of it there. Uh, WordPress Omatic. You know, we'll just get rid of this and put. Physics. Then we go to review. Um, it's open to the world. Uh, yes, we know we're going to want it open to the world so people can see it. Um, the SSH access is not open to the world, though. So, um, and then it tells us it's not free because we're using a medium tier here. Um, I just find it's it's the best for anything that you plan to have moderate traffic on, maybe even up to 100 visits a day, doing whatever for bandwidth. So um, it's you know probably not good enough for whatever a really highly popular news site or something, but it's uh, more than enough for what we need to start. 
Um, these are just the things we went over, the storage, what we saw. So we click here, launch. Uh, we don't have a key pair, so we need to create a new key pair. Um, we'll call this key pair physics world. Download it. It's a PEM key. Um, we'll have to access that later. So we click launch instance. And now we just wait a minute. Uh, what we can do in the meantime. All right. So this is, I typed in putty gen, uh, putty generator key. So we're going to click load. Uh, we're going to change to all files. We're going to click the PEM key. And open it. We're going to click OK. We're going to save a private key. Uh, we're not going to password protect it. We're just going to. Go private key, and we're going to call this physics world. And it labels it not as a PM, a PPK file this time. So save that. And as you can see over there, there's the PEM and there's the uh, recognized um, putty, putty key. So close out of that. Your instances. So we'll go up here. This is the different services. It's the EC2. Where we are. So we go to running instances. So there it is, Physics World, because we put in the tag, it's already named. Um, if not, there's a little edit button there. You see, you can just rename it if it has no name. Um, and then, so what we need to do next is we need to go to Elastic IPs. Um, and it has like, uh, you know, an, uh, you know, public IP already, but uh, in order to get the HTTPS on it, the security, the SSL, uh, you got to do an Elastic IP or um, a load balancer. Um, and an Elastic IP is just free and cheap for now. And that's all we need for now. So that's what we're going to do. So here it is, we're gonna call it physics world P. Save. Uh, so that's it. So we're gonna click the new one. That's the address now. So we click it and then we go to associate. Um, and then, so we pick the instance physics world WordPress. Um, we're going to allow it to be reassociated to just where we might be doing different things with this and uh, nothing, none of this is really set in concrete yet. So we click associate. Okay, so now we go back to the dashboard and we go to our instances and we click our instances and let's reload it. Let's see the details again. So there's the new IP address, Physics World. Um, so here's the address to log in with the shell. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute, I guess. So let's let's copy this. Hmm. Usually a WordPress, but so anyways, let's just try to keep going here for a second. Well, we'll go back to here. We want to go into the system log anyways, monitor system log right here. This is what we need. That's the password once we get on to the website, which I'm not sure. It might be because it's still configuring. So we'll um, let's save that password somewhere though in a text pad. Boom. So save that for later. So 
Oh, there it is. So there's the website up. It finally launched. So now we go to, to log into the back end of it, we go to the WP admin. Um, it told us to use the temporary name of user. It gave us the password. We're going to have it remember me. Um, we'll save it. Um, so now we're in, we have the basic WordPress website up. Um, we can go ahead and update plugins and um, stuff like that. So what we'll see when we go to the website though, even though we just set it up, one thing that we have to do down here is we have this thing that'll pop up every time. So we got to get back into the back end of the server. So for that, we launch putty, which we just use the generator for. Um, so we go back to EC2 instances, we get the information, we go to the public, this is our login right here, so we copy that, and then the login is bitnami at that name, and then we go to this SSH, and we click authentication, physics world, the PEM key we just created, well, this is the first time in it, it pops this warning. So this is the back end, the Linux side of the server. Um, it's an Ubuntu uh, server, I think, on the back end, even behind the Bitnami application. So there's a command, um, frequently used commands. Uh, we'll just Google it. I had a ch cheat list somewhere, but it's on a hard drive I don't have access to right now. So Bitnami remove banner command. Uh, right here. So this is the command we use. And we go back. So we disable, oh, not found. I think I ran into this. Oh, it's uh, apps names, that's why. I think it's, we'll just have to find it, I guess. What was it? And help. So we just get, I think we just get rid of that app, app name. No. Hmm. Command similar. Right here, I think that's it. But I don't think we need the word app in there. Let's see. Let's also go back to group folder. I think that worked. Let's just go back to the restart commands. Okay. Boom. All right. Yep. So the banner's gone now. Um, and then, you know, in here we could add users names it's so different people can work on it um i guess i'm going to probably finish this video up and um I'll, I'll do the appearance